Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I'm going to talk about why it's important to have diversity in your reading. To start out, I just want to have a disclaimer. I know I look like shit. I just woke up, and half my makeup is off because I didn't take it off last night, so I don't really care. Deal with it. Now into the video. <laughs> So, as a reader, uh, a lot of times you have a favorite genre or a specific thing that you love to read, but it's important to branch out and explore new genres and different types of reading, but what's really important is to have diversity uh, in the books itself, not just in genre. but it's important to include books in your reading that have things like different religions, different sexualities, different races, uh, different perspectives and worldviews. I think it's very important to incorporate that into your reading so that you can gain knowledge on these things and not have such a closed view and mind on certain things. I know that a lot of books that I've been reading recently has a lot of diversity dealing with race and sexuality. Um, I haven't been able to find much uh, that deals with different religions, uh, but I would like to soon. So if you have any recommendations for that, please leave them down below. I know I've recently read a book that dealt with some Jewish religion, but it didn't delve into that very much. Um, and occasionally I'll pick up a book and it will have a Christian-like character in there. Uh, but not often is it really addressed, and not often do I get much diversity other than some Jewish or Christianity. I, I almost never hear about like um, the Muslim religions or like Buddhism, Hinduism, anything like that in most of my readings. So I definitely want to diverse my reading in that area. Um, but I think it's important to have that because so many people like don't know about it and it's because it's minorities of stuff. I mean most people in America or white, straight people, um, a lot of them are Christians, the majority is either atheist or Christian, so that is most of the things that are incorporated in books and most of the things that you see in your everyday life. But of course there is other races, religions, and sexualities that you should be aware of and know of and not just have other people's opinions but be able to form your own opinion about that and be able to understand uh, those different areas of life and books can help you with that. Books can really give you a uh, different viewpoint and open your mind and help you understand that and gain knowledge of that. And so I definitely encourage you guys if you haven't already to read and research and find books that deal with different issues uh, and different kinds of people. Uh, by issues I mean different issues that are debatable such as like different issues like um, big world issues like the Nazis and the genocide with that. Uh, maybe go back in history and learn about the Trail of Tears or big issues nowadays like fracking and uh, police brutality or uh, you know different groups of people like I've mentioned uh, already race sexuality religion I encourage you to learn more about these and really open your mind and learn things from books and kind of gain some facts and be able to really uh, know about them and learn about them and uh, open your heart more importantly to those subjects and be more empathetic and know what you're talking about when you talk about these because so many people will talk about a subject and kind of babble about nonsense that they don't know. It's just like random crap they've made up in their minds because that's what people do. Uh, people like to just uh, kind of rant about whatever they feel. Um, and not really have facts on what happens and um, 
that can be dangerous to them and to other people because they could influence other people and give them false information, I guess. And that gets spread. So you really want to understand and know about uh, different things in the world. Um, so books can really help you with that. And I think it's really important that you grab books and really invest yourself in those ideas and kind of learn more about them and open your mind. So if you guys have any knowledgeable books that deal with any major issues, please uh, comment them down below so that I may check out them myself. Uh, whether it's an issue or a group of people or a debatable uh, situation, I want to read them so please link, uh, not link, but please leave the title of the book and the issue that it addresses down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to share. Um, one book that I'm going to mention right now is um, Wonder. It is the book I'm currently reading. This is what it looks like. It is a middle school book. It deals with a young fifth grade boy who has a deformity with his face and it causes a lot of bullying and issues and staring which is understandable uh, and it kind of goes through that. I'm really enjoying it so I highly suggest this book to uh, people who are interested in seeing more of that viewpoint. Uh, I think I will make a recommendations video about these uh, after I read a few more books that are more diverse and we'll let you guys know what I think about them. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Let me know down below. I would love to hear feedback about you guys and what you guys think. And I just wanted to share my little thoughts on diversity in books. So there you have it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!